to use in a partisan audit of the 2020 general election and 2021 primary elections. Joining us now is Pennsylvania's Attorney General Josh Shapiro. Attorney General Shapiro, appreciate you joining us. Can you just explain in layman's terms what happened in court today and how this could fit into efforts by the former president and his allies to undermine democracy nationwide? Sure. State Senate Republicans, apparently at the behest of the former president, launched an effort to try and audit the vote here in Pennsylvania. I use air quotes, of course, when I say audit, because it's not a real audit. In fact, we've had two legally required audits that showed that we had a free and fair, safe and secure election that Joe Biden won here in Pennsylvania by about 80,000 votes. In the attempt to go forth and conduct this sham review, uh, the Senate Republicans demanded the private information of 9 million Pennsylvania voters, including social security numbers, driver's license numbers, and the likes. In my capacity as the Attorney General of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I sued to stop them, to protect the privacy interests of Pennsylvanians. Indeed, we have a, both a statutory and a constitutional right to privacy here in the Commonwealth. Today, we finally had the hearing. Today was the first time that the Senate Republicans couldn't rely on just the rhetoric that they keep spewing on other networks, but rather they had to present facts and evidence in a court of law. And we learned two important things from counsel to the Senate Republicans. One, they acknowledge that there is a risk in turning this private information over to a third party. They said that it's worth the risk. I don't think 9 million Pennsylvanians would agree to that. And second, they were asked to define by the court what the purpose was of demanding this private information. And they could not state a purpose in court. That's what we learned today. And now it'll be up to the judges to rule as to whether or not the private personal information of 9 million Pennsylvanians can be turned over. How quickly do you expect a ruling? You never know, but I think the court recognizes the importance here. I'm sure they'll take their time and, and do what they need to do. I think they're also uh, being forced to consider the fact that the Senate Republicans are trying to take this information and give it to a third party, yeah. a third party, yeah. Anderson, that has absolutely no credibility. They didn't exist a year ago. I believe they have two employees last week checked, uh, and they have absolutely no experience doing this type of oversight or review and so i think the court will be weighing that as well well also i mean one of the leaders of the push for this audit uh, republican state senator chris dush uh, said about vendors for the audit quote i'm not going to be hiring political activists to become investigators unquote it, i mean the, i've read some of the stuff about envoy sage which is this vendor do you think he kept yeah. his, his word no of course not um he has made very very clear that he is doing this at the behest of others He's clearly trying to undermine our democracy, and he continues to chase a lie. Listen, I'm the chief law enforcement officer of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. You want to talk about voter fraud, Anderson? I heard that in, in your lead up. Um, we had a handful of cases of voter fraud that were prosecuted here in Pennsylvania. And in those cases, by the way, they were trying to cast an extra vote for Donald Trump. Um, none of the widespread voter fraud that the senator leading this panel or any of the other weak need politicians that continue to pander here in Pennsylvania are demonstrating that there was any type of widespread voter fraud at all. And I think it's also important to note that we had two legally required mandated audits that were done. Again, they confirm the results of this election. I mean, pander is a good word because it's, you know, we all saw what happened in Arizona, much ballyhoo about, you know, cyber ninjas coming in and using their alleged expertise to find out and nothing, there was no finding there was no right. fraud and uh, just as there isn't any nationwide voter widespread voter fraud that would impact the the results of the election I mean, folks from pennsylvania i remember you and i discussed i believe after folks from pennsylvania went down there uh from the legislature to kind of look it over they're basically pandering either to the hardcore republicans who believe the former president or pandering to the former president hoping he will you know send him an attaboy message <laughs> All right. I, I think that's exactly right. I would go maybe a step further. I think they're pandering out of a profound personal weakness. And what I mean by that is they're willing to trade our democracy, uh, to trade the oath of office that they're required to take 
to try and achieve some sort of short-term political gain, or attaboy, as, as you called it. Um, that, is, that demonstrates, I think, a, a character flaw and a real weakness on these individuals' parts. And what it really does as well is not just cost taxpayer dollars here in Pennsylvania, but it denies us an opportunity to deal with the serious challenges we face that, that people talk to me all about all the time about that they're worried about, how they educate their kids and how they go forth and, um, and deal with this changing economy. And right now, people are worried about that. They shouldn't have to also worry about the fate of our democracy. Attorney General Shapiro, appreciate it. Thank you.